It was the biggest quake to hit the east coast of the North Island in more than 20 years. But tens of thousands of people across the North Island felt the magnitude 7.1 quake, which it now seems could have been two simultaneous earthquakes. It was sent at 130k northeast of Te Araroa at a depth of 22 kilometres. The shaking cracked homes and triggered a tsunami warning for much of the North Island's uh, northern coast. Residents of Hicks Bay, which is kind of west of Te Araroa, headed straight up the hill, as they know to do after big earthquakes. Our reporter Sharon Brett Kelly is in Hicks Bay and joins us now via live view. Sharon, I've been watching the sun setting behind you. It's the most beautiful evening there. It's gone now. I'm sorry we didn't get to you earlier, but how are people feeling there? What's the day been like? Well, John, of course, they had a pretty dramatic start to their day early this morning. And, you know, this part of the world gets a lot of big weather events and they get a lot of earthquakes. But as I talk to people, we, we started off in Gisborne and we moved our way around the coast. And as I talked to people, well, everybody had a story, and they were pretty dramatic stories. But as the day wore on, people were pretty blasé about it at the end. And really, they were just saying, well, the day's over. We're moving on. Well, about 4.30ish mm, this morning, the house started to shake, and there was a rumble. And um, we got up because we actually had a bit of a shake yesterday. So we had some sort of indicator. And uh, it just shook even more. Things started falling off shelves. We knew this was serious. So we started putting on shoes and grabbing things and into the vehicle. We thought we were pretty slow, actually, in getting things um, and evacuating. But uh, we were the first ones there, which is the normal place for evacuation. Well, we practice evacuation drills here at the school. So we've decided that that's the, the best high point to go to, the initial one anyway. And then people started coming up. After about a half an hour, we thought, well, if a wave is coming, a wave should be here by now, and it's not. So we came down. We spoke to the civil defence uh, officer, the local one here, and as we were speaking to him, in our vehicle, it started to shake. So it was another shake, and we went back up the hill again. Well, we were all fast asleep when all, this, when all the hell broke loose around us, and um, it was just before 5 o'clock, and we experienced the biggest earthquake I have ever experienced, ever. Um, the whole house, and it seemed to go on for, I suppose in the situation, it's, it probably seems longer than it really is, but it, it was the best part of a minute, I reckon, and the house just kept on rocking and rocking and shaking, and we could hear things coming, <laughs> coming off the shelves, and uh, there was a great thump at one stage, and I thought, oh God, there goes the TV. But there was, no, there was apart from a few th pictures and things that had come down, there was, there was no damage, no. People are very calm, and they, the people don't get too overly excited around here. They, you know, they've been through all this before and um, they take it in their stride pretty much and we somebody yelled out why didn't you bring a barbecue to somebody else and <laughs> <laughs> lovely sharon um you you flew into gisborne you and claire our cameraman flew into gisborne this morning right and you've driven all the way up the coast to expo it's a big old drive did you see any damage on the way john no i have to say <laughs> i mean that sounds like a, a bit of an anticlimax People didn't really talk about much damage. I mean, a lot of things were rattling in the house. There was a lot of swaying. Uh, you know, their beds were shaking. Things fell off the walls. TVs fell off the walls. Uh, and we went to, when we went to see Lloyd Lawson, he was just putting his lovely pictures back up on the wall. One man told us around Intolaga Bay that his ceilings had cracked. But apart from that, no, no major damage, John. And have you and Claire felt any of the aftershocks as you've been wandering about? John, I can't hear you. Sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, have, have you felt any of the aftershocks as in your travels? No, <laughs> and we've been keen to, fa to feel one, but I have to say we've been in the car most of the day. People have been asking us, have, did, have, they, have we felt anything? But people have definitely, they've told us that throughout the day they've felt little tremors. Sharon Burke Kelly, live from Hicks Bay, where about 20 minutes ago the sky was just beautiful behind her. It's dark there now uh, with our cameraman Claire Easton Farrelly. People on the, uh, on the East Coast clearly shaken but not stirred. I apologise, but they all seem very calm about a pretty big earthquake.